we flew over the marina and it's a small marina and I was looking at the spot where I left Carl <laughs> and it was empty. I guess we're rolling on my way to board my flight to Paris. San Jose, Costa Rica. Well, this is it. I'm on my way back to Carl. It's been half a year that I've been away in Germany. Lots of things have happened. I became an aunt. I have a super beautiful baby nephew now. <laughs> and um, yeah, Maria and I made in motion official, so now in motion is legally founded in Germany. I'm in France right now and I'm flying from France to San Jose in Costa Rica. And then I have another short flight from San Jose to Golfito, where I'll be reunited with Carl. had the craziest arrival as usual um, we flew over the marina and it's a small marina and I was looking at the spot where I left Carl <laughs> and it was empty uh, <laughs> I was like oh no my boat is gone somebody took my boat it sank they didn't tell me my heart is still <laughs> I'm still trying to recuperate um, they moved it, but they didn't tell me, so, yeah. <laughs> it's all good. The legs cried all right to me. Well, good morning, everybody. It's a brand new day, and I'm gonna go and tackle some of the Carl to-do list. Some of you might have noticed from time to time that my boat is a little bit cluttered. And because I'm at the marina right now, it's a really good time to do a bit of spring cleaning. And right now, Carl is really upside down because all the sails are inside and all my luggage that I brought back is inside and there's lots of things that don't have a place so it's a huge mess I'm gonna show it to you surfboards, luggage very big mess in my front cabin <laughs> I told you, it's bad it's quite bad it's probably some of the worst actually that it's been ever so I'm gonna take out everything and throw away a lot of things. I'm gonna start in the front cabin and then move my way backwards towards the stern. And I hope that I can get rid of a lot of things because it's just too much.
Now we're getting to the good stuff. Vice under my head. Old sail. Old sail. Old sail cover. I wondered where this was. Oh, this is a really nice bag. Okay, so this is still from the previous owners. It's been what, nearly nine years? This is like opening Pandora's box. Ah! <laughs> What have I gotten myself into? This was day one. And uh, it's not even the whole front cabin. It's still missing the port side below my bunk of the cabin. But this is all going out. I think that's a good beginning, right? And you're probably going to be sad because I'm also throwing away two of my very favorite jeans. But I think they probably did their job and I think it might be time for them to go. I think maybe I should do like a little um, video, just a tiny one with little snippets of these jeans because I think they have been in quite some episodes and they have lived through quite a few of boat refed projects. Ah, all these memories, but yeah, I think it's time for them to go. Or maybe I should frame them. Maybe I should uh, um, auction them. <laughs> no, they're going into the trash. Bye bye, jeans. Good morning to day number two of decluttering Carl. <laughs> I think yesterday went pretty well. A whole wheelbarrow full of things that left Carl. And today, what I'm going to do, I still have to. I'm still not even done in the forward bunk because I still have to do the port side below the bunk. Holy sh! I'm gonna make some covers. Yay! I definitely forgot about all these goodies. Nice. Wow, this is like Christmas. Holy moly, I didn't know all of this was here. Now all I need is a sewing machine and I can go wild. I'm looking for a place for my water maker and I'm, because I made some room, I'm debating if I'm going to put it here. The camera just died when I carried the water maker all the way up front. So I'll do it again, just for you. So today I'm gonna tackle putting all the sails back out in the sheets because they're taking up quite a bit of room. And I'm having a friend coming over that I met in Pavonis, Mark, and he's driving up here because he needs an ATM machine in the Ferreteria, like the uh, hardware store. Anyways, so I asked him to come and give me a hand because it's a lot easier to deal with the sails with two people as you probably know. So, Mark, tell us a little bit where you're from and what you're doing here in Costa Rica. I'm from Boulder, Colorado, and I came to Costa Rica to hide out for the winter and try to catch some waves. Nice, whereabouts are you situated? I'm staying in Pavones, and Nika came down there to go surfing and invited me to come learn some knots and sails. <laughs> and do some work on Carl.
parallel. Right. So that's how you can that's how you know if it's you went if you went around right the tree and came back the right way. Very nice neighbor Javier is lending us his paddle boards. So we're gonna go a little on a little trip out into the bay mm -hmm. and then possibly a jungle hike. As usual, we timed it perfectly, so the tide is rushing in like crazy. So I think we've been paddling for 10 minutes now to reach this corner here. And whilst I'm filming this for you, I'm losing all of what I just made in 10 minutes. That's it, 20 minutes hike up the river. 20 minute rainy hike, river exploration, investigation. Okay, well let's do 10. end of this potentially we don't know el domingo sí. y viene la gente y se queda aquí arriba sí. se van. con las pumas así ah, le gusta la naturaleza <risa> <risa> y ahora y después coge ahí para allá arriba la otra cabina y pero los pumas no no comen la fruta no ellos me comen los animales aquí con los agutis Así, ah, las gutis ahí entre la cocina, casa, ellos caen y pum. <risa> ¡Qué vida! Sí. No, aren't you a cutie? Venga, amor. Toma. Sí. Este es más nuevo. Ay, do we go to the left or to the right? Playa de Amar. We have to the right. Looks dodgy. Sí, there you go. Mirador. This is the Mirador. Ooh, pretty, pretty. We're waiting for the storm to pass, <laughs> but there's been three very, very close lightning strikes in the past like 10 minutes. <laughs> Very close. How, how close were they? I mean, like it lights up the area here. <laughs> it was literally like you saw the lightning coming down, and the, the sound was there immediately. It was right above us. It was scary as shit, and uh, we decided to <laughs> we decided to wait it out a little bit. Catching a ride back home. Extraction. <laughs> Getting old, man. Not up for the adventure anymore. Mark has offered to stay around for another challenge. Little does he know what he's getting himself into. Because it's going to be a tough one. What are we doing today? The aft storage. <laughs> oh yeah, that's very politically correct, I, like you're calling it. I had to think about it first. <laughs> <laughs> you're not allowed to say the other word. Um. The good news is that Nika's going inside. I'm gonna do the out here work. 
<laughs> okay, let's see how happy you will be like in an hour or two. <laughs> this is gonna be a crazy one. But no more postponing, no more procrastination. Um, we're gonna tackle it. Whoa, this is like full until the rim. Lots of treasures and possibly lots of non-treasures too. Let's see what we can find in here for keepers and leavers. There's a lot of empty plastic bottles that are very important for storing plastic shreds in the future. So these will have to stay, but this one might have to go because it's kind of moldy, but we'll see. This is going to be interesting. Garbage. What do you think? I mean, it could be a rag. <laughs> yeah, Garbage. well, we could dry it out, I guess, and then debate whether we're keeping it or throwing it. Okay, we'll dry it. So I think it's not a very, or maybe it is a good idea if a hoarder and a minimalist are working together to clear out a boat. Guess which one I am. I'm sure you, you won't be able to guess. But, so this is a bag with rocks and shells, more rocks, more shells. They're all very beautiful, obviously. They all have a reason why they're here. So we're going to put this on the, it's going to stay pile. But what I'm going to do with this is it's going to go on the, it's going to stay, but I'm going to sort through it if I seriously need all of these rocks and shells. This is the stay pile, and this is the go pile. Hard to tell. Hard the to difference. tell. Hard to tell. <laughs> they all look the same. I like your little flea market that you put out out there. <laughs> We've got some friends coming to pick up some desechables. <laughs> so I think this one can go. I think it's not so good anymore. And also the 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 air pump and the hoses can go. Marinero, how is it going with the knot making? Uh, mas o menos. Um, sometimes it's very easy and natural and sometimes I feel like I have two left hands. <laughs> which knot are you practicing on right now? Clove hitch. Nice. Keeping it simple. <laughs> but which one can you already do? Uh, I can do a bowling behind my back. Wow, that's pretty awesome. I've got a good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> this is the trash slash giveaway pile. <laughs> And this is a still to consolidate pile. Some of it can probably go. I think I have enough rags. I, I believe that most likely I can get rid of a couple of the rags. We'll see. Definitely have to keep a couple because rags are very important. One man's trash is another man's treasure. I'm a little bit fascinated all of that was fitting into my aft cabin. I think I could build a whole village with, with all that wood. <laughs> so maybe, maybe some of it can go. So, most of the big dirt is out. Everything is out of the aft cabin. There's some mold going on. There is some water, but luckily it seems it's only rainwater because I vacuumed it all out and so far, except my own sweat that's dripping into the hull, there hasn't been any filling up yet, which is very good news. Well done, Carl. Very well done. Um, and now I just gotta wipe everything a little bit and treat the mold with um, some vinegar and maybe some eucalyptus oil or something and then we're ready to put everything back in not everything some of it this is another wheelbarrow stuff that's leaving carl to give away things that might still be usable and franklin is gonna take them and 
donate them to someone, hopefully. Gracias, Franklin. Okay. <laughs> this is this is for cleaning. This is basura. This is still sorting. Bye, Carl. Bye, Mark. Thank you. Mark had to go back to his place in Pavones, but it was priceless to have an extra pair of hands for the spring cleaning challenge. Thanks so much, Mark. And guess what? The next adventure is already around the corner. But more about that next time.